All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you just quickly how to take your data and explore it with some visualization tools. So let's run this query. We got a query output. This is just the original table, BigQuery public data. Let's hit explore with sheets and it'll open your data in a Google Sheet. And so how this works is your data is connected, da da da. It'll put your data into, see when it, the tab has this little like database icon, it's like a reference to the data in BigQuery, something like that. And so you can actually reference this here so if you like were in this sheet here and you wanted to say like, you know, equals whatever, it's gonna error out because this is not actually something you can reference. Um, you can label this something, birds. And what this is doing is if you come to connection settings up here, all it's doing is actually running this query from BigQuery and outputting it into Google Sheets here. And to be able to use and reference this data, um, you have to use one of these options up here. You can click chart and make a chart out of it, pivot table, function, extract. What I like to usually do is hit extract here. And so if it's um, fewer than 25,000 rows, you can hit extract, create a new sheet, and hit apply. Name this something like birds extract. And then you can start referencing this extract. It's like takes the data, extracts it out, and uh, puts it into something that you can actually work with. So with this, um, you know, you can do all your formulas. I don't know, like sum ifs, uh, and whatever else. How do you do a freaking sum ifs anymore? Let's just do a quick example. Some ifs, we're gonna sum where, I don't know, birth weight grams. Greater than or equal to, let's just do 3,200 again. So you can write formulas off this and do all your, your Google Sheets stuff um, you can highlight this, make a pivot table. So you have all that available to you. And then, uh, if you want to, like, if, let's say the data in BigQuery refreshed and you wanted to get it refreshed in here, you can come up to data, refresh options, and just hit refresh all. You can also set up a scheduled refresh that like, if you wanted this to refresh every hour, this will refresh every hour. And, and you know, if your BigQuery data is refreshing every hour, so often, you can set up your sheet to refresh every hour also. I'm gonna turn that off for now. Um, and another good thing you can do is you can explore this with Looker Studio, formerly, formerly Google Data Studio. So you know, I'm not gonna give you a tutorial of how Looker Studio works, but it's basically like a dashboard builder that you can work with. And so that's how you get your data into here. And there's a bunch of tutorials online about like how to use, how to use this.